Hello everyone, it's Maive. Welcome back to my channel for another fantasy tutorial. It's October, possibly my favorite month because it's the month of Halloween. So I think I'm going to dedicate the following weeks to making Halloween themed videos exclusively. If you like that idea, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. Two years ago I made a witch's severed finger for which I also wrote a story, you can find the link below. So for my first October tutorial this year I wanted to make a zombie finger. All the materials will be in the description. The polymer clay I'll be using is Cernic Doll but other clays like Fimo Doll or Scalpy Living Doll are just as good. I'll be making a thumb so I measured it against mine to get a similar size but you can sculpt any finger you want. The reason I use doll clay is because these clays have a translucent finish which makes it look like skin when baked but alternatively you can mix a skin colour with translucent polymer clay to get the same effect. To make the nail I cut out a door shape out of the same clay and soften the edges and to make it look really thick and dead I suppose I made lots of ridges on it with ball tools in different sizes. Because I didn't want my zombie finger to have a neat nail, I removed pieces with a knife to make it look jagged and then placed it on a round cutter to bake it. Add a few more ridges if you want and bake for 15 minutes at 110 degrees Celsius. One skull added to the finger bonding with Fimo liquid. After using my fingers to get a general shape, I used a ball tool to define it a bit more. I added more clay to make the proximal nail fold and brushed a little Fimo liquid on the nail so that the clay stuck to it. Then I started to add more personality to the finger by creating lines and folds. And for this I used a variety of tools as each one can help you achieve a different effect on the clay. You can also create different kinds of wounds like sores, scars or scratches but I'd recommend doing just one on a piece like this as it would be hard to believe that so much happened to one single finger. Make as many wrinkles and lines as you want and look at your own finger to have an idea of what they look like. I also made a hole to add a maggot later on. Yuck. <laughs> To texture the skin I used a toothbrush. Thank you. 
After texturing the flesh, I added a bone using the same clay. Texture the bone and the surrounding flesh and when you're happy with the look of your zombie finger, bake for 20 minutes at 110 degrees Celsius. Once cool, spread Fimo liquid on the back so you can add more clay. Try to add clay where the pads would be and not in the joint. Then blend the clay together until there are no visible seams. Remember to texture the flesh and to blend it to the baked clay. Then keep adding as many details as you want. To add texture to the pad and to make it look more realistic, I used my own fingerprint, but in an uneven way so you can see that they're there, but not exactly. I forgot to make the folds before baking it again, so I had to add more clay and do it. That's what happens when I have conspiracy theory videos in the background. I blended the clay to the clay underneath really well, using Fimo liquid as a bonding and softening agent, and then used a needle to create all the lines and folds. Next I made the maggot coming out of the hole and yes, it made me feel very queasy because I don't like maggots and the way the clay was moving made me think it was alive sometimes, so yeah, you're welcome. Then you want to bake your finger for at least 30 minutes at 110 degrees Celsius. Let the finger cool down completely before painting it or the paint will dry on the clay before you get a chance to blend it. I applied a wash of bluish green acrylic paint and I either removed the excess with my finger or spread it with a brush. To get that dry blood colour, I first used burnt orange and then I mixed it with brown, but you can also use red and brown. On the nail I used a mix of blue and green and blended it downwards and I tried to apply a wash on most of the nail to get a stain effect rather than a nail polish effect. Here's when I applied burnt orange mixed with brown and I applied it all over the flesh apart from the bone which only had a wash so that it would stand out. I apply that same colour on the edges to make the skin look sore.
I also applied it on different areas of the finger to make it look like coagulated blood under the skin and I used that bluish colour for the same purpose. And of course you can use it to make regular blood stains on the finger. Lastly, I added brown inside the bone and around the nail to make it look dirty and once the paint was dry, I glazed it with water-based matte varnish. If you liked this tutorial and would like to see more fantasy stuff, give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, click on that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. I wouldn't want you to miss when I upload. If you were inspired to recreate any of my pieces, share them with me using the hashtag MyVifferando or on Instagram. I love to see what you guys make following my tutorials. Now, I got so excited about this and I thought how would you like it if we made a whole monster finger collection like we could make a mummy, we could make a vampire, we could make a velociraptor like you know a velociraptor claw like yeah <laughs> you get it. Uh, we could make a mummy, we could make anything you want like maybe even Freddy Krueger's finger I thought that would be really cool. Uh, and then I don't know we could make a necklace out of all the fingers I don't know. Let me know if you like this idea and if you have any other ideas just let me know in the comments. Okay guys that's it for today. If you liked this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of the week and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Ciao ciao. Oh, I can't believe I said that twice. <laughs> we could make a mummy. We could make a mummy. <laughs> we could make a mummy, we could make a mummy. <laughs> like Alex said, we can do anything you want as long as it's a mummy. <laughs> Not biased at all. We do anything, we can make a mummy, we can do a velociraptor claw, we can do a mummy. <laughs> anything you want, as long as it's a mummy. <laughs> a mummified velociraptor claw. A mummified vampire finger. <sighs> How'd you like my Jane Austen hair? Yeah, I didn't think it was quite good. <laughs>